Hi, I'm Chung Wen for Gotta Be Mobile, and in this second uh, part of the video review of the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the device's performance and take a look at the camera features and just how the device, you, uh, the user experience of the device when used with water. So let's go ahead and take a look at the performance. You do have two gigs of RAM and a quad-core Snapdragon 600 processor. So you can see the experience is very flat, uh, fast and fluid on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, multitasking is a breeze and you do have um, access to Samsung's excellent um, multi-window view here which allows you to run two applications simultaneously at the same time. So here I'm running Google Maps and I have the browser running um, simultaneously. So this is simultaneous multitasking. What sets the Galaxy S4 active apart from many of the flagship phones this year is that it does come with some of the high-end specs offered on the flagship um, Samsung Galaxy S4 along with the waterproof capabilities. Um, since a lot of people already re rely on their mobile phones to take pictures, um, the Galaxy S4 allows users to extend that experience by um, allowing them to take their smartphones um, near the water or even underwater. So you can take this to the beach, to the pool, or doing more active tasks like kayaking, swimming, or whitewater rafting, or even skiing and snowboarding in the winter. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the camera performs. When you open up the camera interface, what you'll notice here is that the camera interface is largely very similar to the camera UI on the Samsung Galaxy S4. You do have a quick access to the modes menu, which allows you to access uh, different camera settings. You do have some of the drama shot, the animated photo, HDR, um, the eraser mode, and some of the more popular modes on the Galaxy S4 that was introduced this year. What's new to this phone is the aqua mode. And when you launch aqua mode, each time you launch it, it will ask you um, if you want to use the volume rocker key, the volume up key, as the camera key or the record key. Um, so you do have to make a decision when you launch aqua mode if you're using this um, to snorkel or using it underwater, if you want to take stills or photos. What this means is that you can't change your shooting mode until you resurface to the waters, um, to the top of the water to change it. If you're in camera mode, you can't choose video recording mode while snorkeling underwater. So, and that's because um, the touch screen is largely inoperable when there's water or when it's wet. So you do have to rely on the hardware key. So with this, I can use the volume up button to capture my photos or record video. Also, um, it should be pointed out that um, some of the features of the Galaxy S4 that isn't present on the active mode is that you don't have the dual camera mode. On the Galaxy S4, you can take a picture or record a video with yourself using the front-facing camera along simultaneously with the rear camera so you can place yourself in the video or in the shot so you're not missing an action. It should also be noted that while you're in aqua mode, um, although the device does have a, an LED flash on the rear, when you're in aqua mode, um, you don't have access to the flash um, for photos and you, don't, you can't use the LED bulb as a video light bulb when you're recording video. So when you're underwater, um, you can't, unless there's good natural lighting with the sun, um, you can't use um, artificial lighting to light up your scene. And this shouldn't be a problem in many circumstances because the phone can actually be submerged only in one meter of water for 30 minutes at a time. So it's not intended to be used as a, snor as a scuba diving tool. So snorkelers can use this, but um, only if there's good lighting. The biggest complaint I have with a camera is that if the phone is wet and we have the bowl of water here, so when the touch screen is a little bit wet, 
um, you can navigate using the physical keys, but if you have wet fingers, a little bit of water, it's a little bit harder to swipe. And so if you're trying to unlock the phone and there's droplets of water here, let's say you were underwater, the phone turned off, and there's like pools of water on your phone's display, when, you, when you're trying to unlock the phone to take a picture, um, you can try and unlock it and it might take a couple tries. If you have wet board shorts that are made out of nylon, um, that's not gonna absorb the water. So you can't really um, unlock the screen or activate the touch screen to launch the camera app. So what I had wished is that Samsung would have included a dedicated shutter button that would quickly launch the camera even when the display is off, like on the Ativ S and the Ativ Odyssey, which runs Microsoft's Windows Phone operating system. So if Samsung had done that with the Android line, with the Galaxy S4 Active, it would have made it a lot easier to launch the camera and change the settings um, while the phone is wet or even activate the camera when the phone is underwater. Other than that, the phone is an excellent phone. It's waterproof. It has a lot of the features of the Galaxy S4 and it's great for people who, you know, largely have butter fingers more so than with the active lifestyle. So although you can take this with you on a rafting trip or if you're on a water adventure, it's still a little bit clumsy to use, but it's great if you're working in the kitchen and have wet hands all the time, this is a great phone for you. So I'm Chung Nguyen, this is a quick look of the Galaxy S4 Active. Join us on gottabemobile.com for the full review.